Hi everybody, Jonathan Reeves here with another Twin Motion video and today is super exciting. We've got the final release of Twin Motion 2022.1. Now we're going to be looking at what's new in the new version. We're going to cover things like importing uh, point clouds and this amazing new feature and show you what this is all about. How you can synchronize with all your different CAD files including SketchUp, Revit, Archicad, Vectorworks, 3D Max, pretty much anything out there in the field that's being used for design. It's amazing. Also, one of the main new features we'll talk about is the uh, increase in quality of your renderings. Things like the sky domes, absolutely beautiful feature where you can quickly map in the twin motion sky domes and change how it looks. And the killer feature, one click path tracing. So with a single click, you now get ray tracing or path tracing with inside twin motion 2022. Those beautiful images with reflections and global illumination absolutely astounding quality uh, but you still get the usability and the speed of the real-time rendering software that Twinmotion is famous for with the interface. So absolutely incredible. Here's some really nice examples in the trailer as you can see of the new path tracing and it can be used for animations as well. Now there's some really cool features here that I love for architects where you can now render your plans and elevations and maybe sections using the Path Tracer in Elevation and Plan as well. There's some amazing new assets that they've uh, worked hard to incorporate, and you'll see more and more of these being incorporated to Twinmotion all the time, um, with some integration of Quixel plants, as well as lots of libraries of furniture as well. Now the new plants from Quixel are just incredible quality. Now it's something you've been asking for for a while, the new 3D Space Mouse support is also there. And a final killer feature is the Panorama sets. This means that you can render path traced final quality images in sets of panoramas and you can just link to those and display them on any device. So overall, I'm super excited about this trailer. Let's break this down in more detail for you and look at these new features one by one. Thanks for watching and if you're new around here, please drop a subscribe and like and I look forward to you joining the video. So one of the features that my architects and landscape designing clients are absolutely going to love in the new Twinmotion 2022 is the new point cloud import feature. Now this means that you can import point cloud data that's produced by 3D scanners or photogrammetry and you can bring that now into Twinmotion. And this is absolutely fantastic for things like context where it can be a little bit sort of uh, cruder in the model but it gives you a very accurate picture of the existing building or existing sites. And here's some examples you can see running in the background of how that process might work. Now I've yet to try this feature out myself, but I'll definitely be making some videos when I do. And I'm really, really looking forward to seeing how this will integrate with things like my Vectorworks, which can also import point cloud information as well. But overall, this is gonna make models look a lot more detailed, a lot more accurate, and save an awful lot of time, particularly for those doing historical work or existing buildings. So a really, really wonderful new feature and looking forward to trying out this amazing new technology soon. Now, one of the features that I know everybody is gonna love is the ability to import from multiple files from multiple CAD systems at the same time. So in bigger architectural practices and design-based businesses, this is gonna be an absolute dream. You can synchronize from multiple files at the same time from all these different softwares via the new direct link. And this is gonna be mind blowing. There's direct links for Archicad, for Revit, FormZ, Navisworks, uh, RitCAD, SketchUp Pro, and of course Vectorworks, the new direct plugin as well. Some of these have different capabilities, the plugins. Here you can see the Revit one playing out in the background, but generally it's pretty straightforward. Once it's set up, it's a single click, and basically the file will synchronize once imported. That means that you'll be able to make changes in your uh, CAD modeling application and see those immediately updating in twin motion. Now, it does take a few moments to set up, but once it's set up, as I say, you'll see that those connections are strong. Vectorworks has a really good new direct syncing um, capability as well. So for my clients who use Vectorworks, I'm really impressed by this new capability. And you can see the Revit one playing in the background. So there's some really awesome aspects to this. I do think that this will make the entire workflow much more seamless and basically encourage people to use Twinmotion with all their different CAD and 3D software. Wonderful.
Well, one of my favorite new features is the introduction of the sky domes. And the reason for this is to just make it so easy to create beautiful backgrounds and a different style of rendering just by changing the HDRI sky dome to affect the lighting. It's a very nice, simple solution that everybody's gonna love. It also means that as well as choosing from a vast library, you can load in your own HDRIs for your own requirements. And here's just a few of the images that I've knocked out using this new feature in the last few weeks and I was blown away. I love the ability just to change that lighting and do things like these white card views with a few different types of background as well. So do try out the Sky Domes if you've not tried it and the great news is it works absolutely amazingly with the path tracing. Here's a path trace rendering animation using Sky Domes and using the white cards. Make sure you check out my video if you've not seen that one already. Now the feature that I'm most excited about is the new path tracing feature. Now this introduces ray tracing or path tracing as it's known in twin motion into the twin motion interface and this just makes for the most amazing renderings you will ever see in twin motion. It raises the bar in terms of lighting, reflections, global illumination and all the qualities of rendering that you might expect like better shadows and so on as well. And while there's a few limitations there at the moment, these are going to have been developed. Um, it really does make a huge difference to the images. You can see here's a couple of examples that I've rendered for real projects already. It raised the bar of my renderings without really doing too much at all, apart from enabling the path tracing and maybe using sky domes. So there's definitely a feature you should try. You're going to absolutely love get stuck into the new path tracing. Well, I hope you're enjoying the new features so far. I just wanted to take a moment to introduce you to my new book, Revolutionize Your Rendering with Twin Motion. Here you can see the contents. It's a really big book, 322 pages of learning, beautifully illustrated and really lovely presentation. There's some amazing case studies by wonderful featured firms and wonderful featured artists from all over the world. And I really, really hope you enjoy uh, learning from this book as much as I did contributing to writing it. A big thanks to Epic Games for sponsoring and helping out with the book. But basically, please have a look and uh, watch my video on this if you're not sure. But otherwise, just hop onto the store and snap it up. It's only £35 and is an absolute bargain. And you'll really enjoy learning Twin Motion from this book. So the next new wonderful feature is the ability to render out plan views and with that elevations and maybe sections as well. So this is gonna be a real boom for architects looking to present their beautiful plans using the rendered path tracing rendering mode. Here you can see a nice plan and a gorgeous elevation rendered using the new modes. So one of the other things that I really love about the new release is the increase in the number of assets available. And I know this will please lots of my clients and users. Basically, there's some really nice new furniture libraries and a lot of these are available on the cloud. You can download them into your user libraries. But one thing that Twinmotion will really please a lot of landscape designers is the new Quixel assets for high quality plants and trees really dramatically increasing the number of sort of vegetation options available. So this is going to be a real plus for everybody and apparently they're going to be releasing them every month so we'll see. So another really great new feature is the ability for Twinmotion now to support the 3D Space Mouse. I know lots of users who have been asking for this and I think this is going to make me get one of these things. They look amazing for navigating around your file and getting it nice and smooth. Okay, so the final new headline feature we're going to talk about today is the new cloud sharing and presentation features. And now works on iOS, as you can see the iPad running in the background. And this means that it's super easy for you to share all your wonderful work with your clients with a single click. Also, when you update your cloud presentations, they're immediately updated. So what a fantastic feature to end on. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video and I really look forward to seeing you join my channel as I make lots more videos for the rest of this year in 2022. Thanks for watching. Bye bye everybody.